Hello, my name is Swaraj and welcome to our code bits. In this video, I'm going to talk about the function attach. Let's first look at the data sets available for us at the works in the workspace. So we write data and these are the set of data sets that are, that are available for our usage. But we're going to use a simple data set that would be empty cars. So let's just write data empty cars. And to see what kind of variables that data set has, we just write names empty cars. And we can see that we have quite a few variables in that. Let's say if I want to know what's there in the variable CYL, that I think stands for cylinder. We see an error there. Let's try for horsepower, the same thing. But instead, if I add a prefix of empty cars dollar, then we can see. I do the same for the horsepower. And we can see the values here as well. So what basically is happening here is that we're telling R that SIL and HP, these variables are located in the empty car data set. Now let's use the attach function. So we write attach and in the, in the brackets, we write the data set on which we want to apply the function. And always remember to write detach at the bottom because you don't want R to get confused between which data set and from which data set it should take the variables. I'll explain it to you in, in some time. So now we have applied the attach function to empty cars. We look at SIL, it gives the value itself. We look at the horsepower and we can get that as well. So we need not specify the prefixes empty cars, dollar and in both the cases. Now let's see, let's try it for a, for a different variable. So we again write names, empty cars to find out the, the different variables that are available for us. And we look at that, it works. We now detached the empty cars and then try the same thing. It should not ideally work and it is not. So we just have seen how we can write the same and find out about the variables without writing or adding a prefix for the data set. Thank you. And you know how to change this into a comment, control plus shift plus C. And if you want to clean the console, control plus L. Thank you.